Hey, how y'all doing? I'm kind of pissed the fuck off right now. Because the Me Too movement has been around for years. It has not just been in, it had just not just started since the Weinstein had happened. No, it has been out for years. Years. Like 10 years ago by a woman named Miss Bennett. Look, look it up, okay? Because I can't freaking say her name. <laughs> I know her initials is T and B, all right? So, and she created that Me Too movement for less fortunate women and girls, boys and men, that has been victim of being harassed and raped. So they can seek justice for themselves and have a voice. But since this whole Weinstein had happened, I'm not saying that all of those women are lying. No, some are pretty much lying. They lying their ass off. Then all of a sudden, this whole entire replica and tr tremble down effect has started happening. And all of a sudden, all these women are coming out. All these women. All, all. Not saying that all are lying, but majority are majority is and then people that we don't even fucking know who in the hell they are are just coming out I'm like are you sure that you made them cause honey you wasn't born <laughs> during that time like one lady ended up getting caught lying like hell because she was way underneath the age and I'm like bitch like seriously really bitch but yeah, I started to see a whole triple effect. Like the whole um, Anise thing. The photographer went to his hotel apartment, whatever have you. She had bad sex. Bitch, it wasn't harassment. It wasn't rape. You had bad sex. You sucked his dick. Because you wanted to. You had sex with him because you wanted to. All the other bullshit. Like, seriously... And bitch, we all looked at you like you was fucking crazy. Like, it's getting way out of fucking hand. It has been getting out of hand. So, everybody's going in on Wendy Williams because she said it too. It's getting out of hand. Everybody's getting on all these people that are saying it's getting out of hand. It really is getting out of hand because the majority of these people are fucking lying. Like, it's not a fucking joke about women getting sexual harassed and raped. It's not a fucking joke. Like, really, you taking their justice and their voice away from them because you want to feel needed. Not needed. You want to feel... You want to have people have sympathy for you. You want attention. So you create a story that wasn't true. Now you're taken away from the true victims, which is not fair. What I think should happen, the people that are caught lying should be in jail for like a month or two. Or the people that accuse she sue the shit out of your ass. It's not a joke. It's not. Like, the woman from... Um, I ain't gonna say the company name. I almost said it. <laughs> she had five men fired. Five men fired. She got back with her trainer. Because she didn't pass. She blamed her trainer. And four other guys. Because her trainer went back and told those other guys. And you know. You know men talk more than women. And I guess since they were kind of like. Nitpicking at her. And making fun of her. She blamed them for rape. She blamed them for rape. Now, if it wasn't for these three people that end up coming forward and saying, no, that did not happen. They was here. They was there. And then they end up checking the cameras, which this company, I don't know why the fuck you didn't check the cameras first. Knowing that they were nowhere near around her. 
And also, one of those people that had came forward was her roommate and recorded her ass telling the lie. Because she ended up telling the truth to her daggone roommate, dumbass. I ended up finding all that out when I went to go pick up the truck from one of the trainers. He was bawled out crying because he didn't know no way to support his family. So, what the fuck? But they fired her, thank God. I hope she's not with another company. I hope she wasn't with another company. Because that's why if I see her ass, I'm going to punch her dead in her face for ruining that man's life. Because it was kind of hard to get off your DAC report. Because that company, it, it was sneaky. I had to get some shit off my DAC report. That was a fucking lie. And then... I remember one case, a lady ended up not getting what she wanted from her trainer and ended up lying too. There has been lots of cases that women don't get what they want from their trainers, so they lie. That's why a lot of trainers don't want to train women. For that fact right there. Now there are some cases out here where trainers do harass and rape women those motherfuckers should get hit by a fucking 18 wheeler like 16,000 times but um yeah um so this whole me too movement it is it is getting out of hand cause people are coming out lying so I'll talk to y'all soon please don't take their voice and their justice away from them. Don't lie because you want attention. It's not fair. 